The Cleveland Indians are in first place, as we expected, as they should be. Last year was an incredible year. It's not that common for any team in the major leagues, frankly, to win 100 games. Cleveland won 102 last year. And as we know, they made a little history along the way. The Indians set the record for the longest uninterrupted winning streak for a major league team in history, winning 22 games in a row. Now, before we get to that, You'll remember in my debut last year, last summer, we talked about one of the rarest feats in baseball, the immaculate inning. Nine pitches, nine strikes, three outs. After Cleveland pitcher Carlos Carrasco pitched only the 86th immaculate inning in Major League history, we ran the numbers to, just, to see just how improbable that was. We found that there are about 43,000 chances to score an immaculate inning each, each year. There are nine teams, two innings per game, 18 times in one game. So given that only eight of these were pitched in 2017, that's less than a 0.02% chance for an immaculate inning. So let's get back to last season's 22-game winning streak and dive right into the math on how extraordinary it was. For simplicity's sake, we're going to see that, say that Every team has a 50% chance to win any, any single game. Obviously not straight probability, there's so much skill here, but we're gonna go with it this way. So you start with the first game. Cleveland had a 50% chance to win, one out of two of winning. Then you go to game two, again, one out of two chance, 50% chance of winning. And then game three, one out of two chance. You do that 22 times. So the, by the 22nd game, they had a one out of two to the 22nd power. That's roughly one in four million chance they had to win 22 games in a row. One in 4,194,304 chance of winning 22 games in a row. Now those are some odds. And for those of you shaking your head out there, some say, I can't believe this, some say the 1916 Giants, the New York Giants, it's always like a New York team. Some say the 1916 Giants hold the record with 26 games in a row where they didn't lose. Not, not wins, non-losses. So here what, here's what happened. They won 12 games. Then they had a tie, one-to-one, -one, like who ties in baseball. Then they won 14 games in a row. A 22-game winning streak trumps, shall we say, a 26-game non-losing streak. So I think it's pretty clear that the 2017 Cleveland Indians are the rightful record owners. But you can check out my letter to the Major League Commissioner for more on that. If you're like me, you think math is kind of cool, maybe a little nerdy cool, you think that baseball's a pretty great sport. So in baseball, you got numbers, years, records, they all connect us to our history. They all, for many of us, remember going to Cleveland Stadium or Crosley Field or, or a minor league ballpark in Ohio when we were kids. They're part of who we are. And Indians fans never want to give up, never want to get our hopes too high, but this is already looking for a great season. They're going to, my prediction, they're going to win the Central Division. They're going to play maybe Boston, maybe New York, maybe Houston in the playoffs. And this is finally a, a World Series victory in Cleveland. I can't wait to watch it all. We'll be back to run the numbers. Oh, and one, one more, before you go, one more note about Carlos Carrasco, the Indians' number two, but very, very good future all-star pitcher, and his immaculate inning. A few weeks ago in Baltimore, Carrasco was on the mound, but this time it was the Orioles pitcher, Kevin Gaussman, who threw an immaculate inning. I mean, what are the chances of that? It was a nice moment in history for Kevin Gaussman, but the problem is for him, when Carrasco pitched his immaculate inning last year, he won. This time, Gaussman threw the immaculate inning, but Carrasco and the Indians won the game 2-1. to one. Sorry about that, Mr. Gaussman. See you next time.